Yo, what's up, my bullet sharp here, bringing you guys another video. Uh, this gameplay is just from a GD match I was playing with my brother's team, uh, Search and Destroy, and did pretty good. It was a four on, yeah, four on four. So I figured, you know, what the hell, upload it. Uh, and I, I tweeted out that I needed a topic for a commentary because I really just wanted to upload a video today. And someone in my on my tweets tweeted me saying, "Do a commentary on why pro teams do not scrim against amateur teams." Uh, now we, <clears throat> for the most part. Uh, I don't know about all the pro teams, but uh, for the most part, we only scrim against other pro teams or top amateur teams. That and what I mean by top amateur teams is uh, you've you've proven yourself and uh, you're known throughout the community as a as a good team. <coughs> Excuse me, um, and you, and you know what you're doing, and, and we know that you know what you're, what you're doing. And the reason for that being is well, hold on, well, let me first explain. So top M, everyone says I, I get messages. If Fear needed a player tomorrow, say Moho quit, and if we needed a player, I would get a hundred messages from people saying, "I'm a top M, give me a shot." Uh, just I just need one shot. I'm top M. Like a million people would message me saying they're a top M, uh, and that's the problem is everyone thinks they're a top M. Uh, so really, I guess the the way that you can put it, if you want to be considered actually one of those top M teams, is be an amateur team and go in something like Frag Cup, uh, go into something like. Uh, UMG or go to Dallas and, and prove yourself as a top man team uh, and, and that way that you can you know you'll get into you know scrims with with, with pro teams and I know it kind of sounds bad and people are gonna say well how are you ever supposed to beat pro teams if you can't you know scrim against pro teams uh, really you don't need to scrim against pro teams to be better than them uh, you can scrim against people that are you know at I, I don't really know how to explain it because if, if you look at it, if you look at it from us we can't we can't scrim against every single amateur team that, that messages. I'll, I'll be honest. John tweets out uh, message sharp if you need a team to scrim, and I'll get messages from just a bunch of people that of names that I have never recognized. Uh, and, and sometimes if there's no one, if no like pro teams are on scrimming and no like names that I recognize are scrimming, uh, I will invite those players and we'll play them on hard point and we'll beat them like 250 to 10 or something like that. And to to us that that is not it's not practice because all we're doing is holding down the hard point. You know we're not having to you know, take over hard points or hold down spawns. We can just run around and kill people. And, and it's not practice for us. Uh, to me, it's kind of like, um, really, I die? And it, all right, I'm going to fast forward when I die. Uh, to me, it's like it, it's like the Lakers scrimming against a, a high school team. I know the Lakers aren't playing that good this year, but uh, it would be like the Los Angeles Lakers scrimming against a high school basketball team. They wouldn't get any practice. You know, they could just give Kobe the ball and he could – you know, go up against everyone and, and own them. Uh, so, I mean, it's not really good practice for a, pro, a professional team to scrim against a top AM team. And I know everyone's out there saying, you know, give me a shot, give me a chance. You know, you guys are assholes. You guys never scrim amateur teams. And I know it sounds like a bad thing, but in reality, you know, we, we have to practice too. We're not here to try to get other players, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not scrimming to get better, you know, players noticed or players better than us. Uh, it does sound selfish, but we are scrimming to get ourselves better, uh, and we don't really have time to go through and scrim every team that says they're a top M. Uh, examples of teams that have proven themselves, you know, Soar. Uh, if you look at them from any other Call of Duties uh, up to now, they are they weren't who like who are they? Who you know, uh, Embos. I knew him from MW3, and uh, they they did kind of make a name for themselves in MW3, but uh, as far as like on the professional level in Black Ops One, MW2, COD4, you know, who who are any of them? Uh, look at Clockwork, uh, look at AX, you know, the dudes on that team. Uh, and these are teams that, you know, they, they scrimmed a lot and they scrimmed against amateur teams and, you know, they got a name for being a good team and, you know, they got into a scrim against a pro team and uh, they they scrimmed against them and, and did good. And so, like, pe teams definitely talk. You know, Twitter is a big, you know, social outlet where people talk and, and they learn that, oh, this team's a top team. And, you know, Soar's pretty good. Uh, so, you know... They do get that uh, VVV. We, we do scrim against them. I, I'll, I'll mention uh, something last night that happened on Twitter. Moho and Realize started kind of going at each other because Moho tweeted, uh, going up against VVV on Tuesday, next round of the qualifier, not going to take any teams lightly. Uh, and I can kind of see where uh, Realize would be kind of mad at that saying because, you know, saying we're not going to take them lightly is saying, uh, you know, this is... I mean, basically Mo, Mo, what Moho's saying is it's a team that hasn't really proved themselves uh, worthy of, you know, being a team that, you know, you have to be prepared for. You know, when we went up against Farico, we were on every day scrimming, you know, five hours a day, you know, getting ready for that match. And we were on, you know, prior to the match day, you know, going over stuff and, and getting ready for that match. Uh, and 
you know, and then VVV is not on the same, I wouldn't say they're on the same, they, they can be as good as Frico, but they're not on the same status as Frico, just because uh, no one on that team is really a known player, no one on that team has gone to events, no one on that team, has, or actually I don't know if they've gone to events, but none of them have gone to events and, you know, proven to be a good, you know, a, a good team player, but, you know, they did play in Frag Cup and they, they did pretty good in that, uh, and they're doing good in this qualifier, so that's where it's like, you know, they're starting to become one of those, you know, recognizable AM teams, kind of like Donut Shop. Donut Shop, VVV, Soar, Clockwork, uh, all these teams are teams that are coming up and I, I can see placing good at Dallas and being, you know, one of those teams that would be a pro team soon uh, or a team that was, you know, a team that, that is considered the top amateur team. Uh, and, and that's what I would say. Not everyone in the world is a, a top like, like th th this team we're screaming against. I bet people on this team have messaged me before. Or not screaming against, but this is a GB. I bet people on this team have messaged me before and, and well, like, would hit me up and say that they're a top amp player. And, like, if I looked at any of them, like, what in the world have they done to, be, to say that they're a top amp? You know, what have, have they proved themselves? Has anyone seen them do, do so to prove themselves? Uh, and I know it sounds like a selfish thing to say that, you know, you have to prove yourself to be worthy of screaming against a professional team. Uh, because I know for amateur teams that is a good practice, but... Uh, if you look, if you look all the way back to COD Four, uh, really the teams that started Call, the really the team that started Call of Duty Four out uh, was Fear, and you know there was like there was Dominance and just teams that you know came around, came around, and around when the the MLG One A or A B and C tournaments, uh, those are like the online tournaments they had. Uh, th th that was like Fear ran those, and then Envy started coming around in the 08 PCLs. Uh, and then, you know, they went to Nationals, and it was pretty much Fear fear versus Envy. That was pretty much the a whole, you know, Call of Duty 4 Nationals. Uh, and so, uh, that that's pretty much how it was in Call of Duty 4. And then all these teams started coming out of nowhere. Uh, you know, you had Rambo and Big Timer start playing, and, you know, they had their team. Uh, and then you had Memody and Proof. We made our team, and uh, we, we basically made, we made our own chances. We didn't really have, like, Fear didn't really, you know, just give me and Modi a random chance when they picked us up. Uh, we had actually scrimmed against, I, I was actually, I played in an online tournament, uh, and somehow became, became friends with, not really friends with Foreplay, but, you know, he, he, like, knew of me, uh, and so we scrimmed against them a lot, we scrimmed against Envy a lot, and I guess from that, uh, Fear heard, you know, that, that we were a pretty good team, and so when they needed a team scrim, I messaged them, uh, and said, you know, scrim, let, let's scrim, let's play. And so they invited us, and uh, we would we would scrim against Fear, and we would beat them, and that that proved us as, you know, a top, a top team, a top amateur team. You know, we were beating a professional team, a uh, team that had, you know, been the nationals and won. And then from there, when when Fear needed players, they they actually hit us up, and you know, that's how that's how you get recognized. No one just gives you a random shot if you've never proven yourself or done anything to make yourself worthy, or you know. I don't. I don't really know. You, you you pretty much have to play in these tournaments, and you have to make yourself uh, noticed. Uh, look at. Let me say. Look, look at Ricky. Ricky, for for example, he played Black Ops One, and uh, Killa Killa was a good friend of Ricky's. And Killa wasn't really the best Black Ops One player. I mean, he was he was good, but he wasn't. It, my team was like Killa Ego Terror, and we just went to events and pretty much had fun, and it wasn't really about winning. Uh, we didn't, we never really scrimmed. But uh, Killer would always tell me, like, oh, dude, we should play with Ricky. He's a top amateur player. And, like, I'd never heard of Ricky. I knew he did ICNs. And, like, he told me he told me he had, like, a high ICN rank and he won all the ICNs. And I was like, has he ever been to an MLG event? Has he ever, you know, like, what has he what has he done that's noted in, in this game? And he's like, he's just, he's a real top amp. We should scrim with him. Uh, and we scrimmed with him. And it was like, I didn't, you know, it, it didn't really, he didn't really leave an impression on me. Uh, but then you went and fast forward to MW3 when they started going to like UMG Chicago and uh, I think Ricky actually for me or for like most of the people got noticed in, at UGC Niagara I believe that was the tournament that um, that people were like oh Ricky's good because I think he he either played with Optic or he played with Rambo's team he played with Optic I forget what team he played with uh, but he played with a team out there and basically had pro players say you know this guy's this guy's a good player he's a good you know and stuff and uh, he started getting picked up to pro teams and uh, started, you know, he, he got on Fear and now he started out in Black Ops 2. He was on Fear and then uh, now he's on Icons. But that's basically how you get, that that's the way that you get noticed. You, you go to events, you prove yourself. Uh, and if you can't go to an event, if you go to an event and have a bad showing, you're like, well, I'm better than that. They'll, I mean, honestly, you can, 
it's it's really honestly just too bad because uh, because unless you one unless you go to events period uh, people aren't going to take you serious uh, and two unless you go to the events and play good on land uh, people aren't going to take you serious uh, and it's just that's just the way it goes because no one wants to take a chance on someone uh, when there's a hundred people out there saying give me a chance uh, and then no one wants to take a chance on people especially when you're going out and you're spending your own money to go to this event. So you need to go to a, go to a land, you know, UMG. UMG's coming up, St. Louis, go to Dallas. Uh, there's going to be Anaheim in June. I don't recommend you miss the first event if you're really trying, if you really are like one of those top amateur players out there and you're you're thinking about uh, skipping Dallas because you don't have a team. I recommend you do at least still try to get a team together and go to Dallas uh, and at least try to get some kind of points because if you skip Dallas, then people are going to wonder, oh, can this dude travel or, or what? Uh, so definitely you want to go and show up to the event and show people that you can travel. Uh, and I don't know. I've, I've kind of rambled this whole commentary, but I feel like I've gotten some good points across. And uh, hopefully I'm not coming off as a cocky asshole. And, and hopefully you people watching this will uh, understand what I'm saying is is meant to, meant to help and not meant to be like, oh, quit hitting me up to ask me to scrim you guys because we're not. Uh, it's more of so of, you know, we we need to we need to play against good teams for us to become better, uh, and so if you are one of those good teams, then you will you will prove it in the event. If you're a good player, you will be found, uh, and and that's that's been proven in the past. Uh, you know, Scumpy, look, look at Scumpy. Let, let's say MW. He played MW two. He was on Fear in MW two. He was on. Was he on Fear in the beginning of the Black Ops One? I don't I don't remember if he's on Fear in Black Ops One. I believe I know he was on Envy. He was on Envy Blue went with Stainville and and uh, Bobby and someone Fears maybe or Twiz. I don't know. He was on that team, uh, and then from there he he was on Obey, and they dropped him. They they actually dropped Scumpy because they I remember this because they didn't like his attitude, and uh, we're like all right. Um, I don't know why they just dropped Scump because we we recognize him as a good player, and we actually hit him up and got him in our lobby. And uh, I think I think Breezy actually ended up calling his mom or something and like telling him that uh, he wasn't gonna he was he was no longer on the team and he just didn't you know his attitude didn't mix well with the other players on the team and his mom his mom basically told him that he wasn't going to the event and said that he couldn't go and he uh, he, he so we we didn't scrum with him because he said that he wasn't going. And then I think his mom came back and said that he had to he had to team with Bobby, uh, and so that's actually where LVG it was Scump, Bobby, Aix, and TP, and I believe they actually won that event. And then so uh, that kind of you know boosted Scump out there into the community as uh, a really good player. And I mean look at him now; everyone says he's the best player in the game. Uh, another player I could say John. John was on a team with Par it was Parasite John, and I I couldn't even tell you. I think Dose Dose was on that team, and I couldn't even tell you who their other player was. Uh, and we played them in Dallas, and we played against them, and John just went, he went ham. His name was just like John287. It was like the randomest thing in the world. And we're like, all right, we just lost this kid. Uh, this shit's unreal. Um, and then look at the next event. He was on Fear, and, and people were saying John was like one of the best players in Black Ops. So uh, if you are a good player, you will get noticed. Uh, there's no doubt about that. No, no good player is just going to be left in the dust and not you know, picked up to a team. Uh, you will definitely get noticed. But this is kind of a long video. I hope you guys liked it. I wanted to upload it 17 and 6. Not bad, GB match. Uh, if you guys liked the video, then be sure to click the like button. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And as always, it's your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.